Had God wished to prohibit drinking, would he have created such a delicious wine? At the end of the 18th century, the venerable host addressed his guests thus, at a banquet while serving the wine of La Mission Aubriand. The speaker was none other than the governor of Guienne, also called by the illustrious name of Richelieu, the renowned cardinal being his great uncle. Had God wished to prohibit drinking, would he have created such a delicious wine? Indeed a wise retort. For divine presence plus the excellence of the wine are two essential keys needed to penetrate the very special realm of La Mission Aubriand. But let us look back a few centuries. The founding of the domain, noted in the Bordeaux archives, dates back to the beginning of the 16th century. Then, in 1682, one learns of the arrival of the congregation of Lazarists, or missionary priests, who henceforth took over the running of the estate. This order, founded by Saint Vincent de Paul, sealed the destiny of La Mission Aubriand. The vineyard benefited enormously from the great know-how and experience of these great winemaking priests. They struggled to develop and improve their estate, located between the districts of Pessac and Talence. It was here on the estate that the heavenly nectar was born and passionately nurtured in simple wooden vats by the humble men of God. Fulfilling their daily duties in the vineyard, they never lost sight of their original mission to lift the spirits of mankind. The beautiful little Gothic chapel, by now the heart of the property, was consecrated in 1698. It became the symbol of La Mission Aubriand. The revolution, unfortunately, did not spare the good priest of Monsieur Vincent. The domain, then known as Aubriand la Mission, changed hands, and in 1821 came to be owned by a colonial settler from New Orleans by the name of Célestin Chapella. He bestowed its final name on the property, Château la Mission Aubriand. But Chapella, and later his son, did a lot more. They worked passionately together to improve the techniques of vinification on the 20 hectares that make up La Mission. In 1862, their efforts were amply rewarded. La Mission Aubriand received the gold medal of the Universal Exhibition in London. From that time on, the ceiling of the chapel no longer had any space remaining to receive the golden inscriptions that listed the greatest vintages produced at this estate. In 1919, the Voltner family became the owners and ran the property during the next 64 years. They enthusiastically labored to further perfect this jewel of a vineyard, which became a Cru Classé de Grave in 1953. The passage of this family will forever be symbolized by the ornate arches which grace the facade of the chateau and were imported by them from Toledo in Spain. On the 2nd of November, 1983, the Dillon family, already owners of Chateau Aubriand, acquired the neighboring estate. During a quarter of a century, the Dillon family oversaw a second meticulous and formidable renaissance of the property. In 1987, a new vat room was built, incorporating the latest technology. There followed a major renovation program of the grounds, the chapel, and the castle. Twenty years later, a second phase of the program is launched, 
in the creation of a new technical site, a beautiful tasting room, newly designed gardens, and last but not least, a thousand square meter shear built as a modern day wine cathedral and a tribute to the Lazarus Friars. The construction of the new shear generously features the golden Frontenac stone, which was used throughout the 18th century to build the most beautiful buildings of the Bordeaux region. The Dillon family's aim remains to put forward the magic and very special atmosphere of La Mission. A blend of peace and mysticism. Visitors now start their visit in the cloister, watched by the friars, visible on the 16th century windows of Notre Dame d'Aubrion. Guests at La Mission can admire the furniture, statues, paintings and prints, all honoring the religious men who built the reputation of this place and gave it its exceptional soul. Naturally, year after year, the ultimate goal is to improve even further the excellence of the wines issued from this exceptional vineyard. Le Chateau La Mission Aubriand, outstanding red wine, true treasure of the Grave, and Le Chateau La Mission Aubriand Blanc are both anxiously awaited by the lovers of truly great wines. And one mustn't forget La Chapelle de La Mission Aubriand the second red wine of the property, made from the younger vines that also enjoys an enthusiastic following. Since the Good Fathers, their complicity with the vines, and thanks to non-flagging efforts and innovations that are essential in maintaining a very high quality, the wine of La Mission Aubriand has managed to keep its unique personality since the days of the Cardinal's nephew, a deep gold, with bursts of sunlight and amber for the white wine. And the shade so rich and dark, the round voluptuousness, a profound elegance and grace that personify La Mission Aubriand. Assuredly, Monsieur de Richelieu, this grace must indeed possess something of the divine.